Hi preschoolers, I wanted to read a story to you. Um, I bought it a while ago, but I haven't had the right opportunity to read it. And I think now is a great time because the title of the story is What Do You Do With a Problem? And we all are kind of experiencing a problem together right now. We don't get to go to school and we have to stay home and be careful and wash our hands and make sure we're staying healthy. And it can be confusing and seem like a problem right now. But this story is gonna help us know what to do when we do have a problem and how to take that problem and use it for something good. So let's read the story together. Whenever we're reading a book, there's two really important things to look at on the front cover. One of those important things is the title. The title is the name of the book. Here's where the title begins. The title is, What Do You Do With a Problem? What Do You Do With a Problem is the title of this book. That's the first important thing to know. Then we want to look at the illustrations, the pictures. It looks like that boy is having a problem. What problem do you think he's having? You're right. It looks like there's a storm. And look at his umbrella. It's blowing inside out. I wonder what he's going to do. Let's read and find out what he's going to do and what his problem might be. This book is written by Kobe Yamada. He's the author. He wrote the words. And it's illustrated by May Bessem. I hope I'm saying her name right. The illustrator draws the pictures. Let's read. I don't know how it happened, but one day I had a problem. I didn't want it. I didn't ask for it. I really didn't like having a problem, but it was there. Why is it here? What does it want? What do you do with a problem, I thought. I wanted to make it go away. I shoot it. I scowled at it. I tried ignoring it, but nothing worked. I started to worry about my problem. What if it swallows me up? What if my problem sneaks up and gets me? What if it takes away all of my things? I worried a lot. I worried about what would happen. I worried about what could happen. I worried about this and worried about that. And the more I worried, the bigger my problem became. I wished it would just disappear. I tried everything I could to hide from it. I even found ways to disguise myself, but it still found me. And the more I avoided my problem, the more I saw it everywhere. I thought about it all the time. It didn't feel good at all. I couldn't take it anymore. This has to stop, I declared. Maybe I was making my problem bigger and scarier than it actually was. After all, my problem hadn't really swallowed me up or attacked me. I realized that I had to face it. So even though I didn't want to, even though I was really afraid, I got ready and I tackled my problem. When I got face to face with it, I discovered something. My problem wasn't what I thought it was. I discovered it had something beautiful inside. My problem held an opportunity. It was an opportunity for me to learn and to grow, to be brave, to do something. It showed me that it was important to look closely because some opportunities only come once. So now I see problems differently. I'm not afraid of them anymore because I know a secret. Every problem has an opportunity for something good. You just have to look for it. 
Preschoolers, when you have a problem, how does it make you feel? Mm Mm-hmm. Yep, just like the boy in the book, we feel scared when there's a problem. We feel trapped. Sometimes we feel sad or even angry. You might feel those ways right now because our problem is we don't get to go to school together. We don't get to go to restaurants we like to go to. There's a lot of things we can't do right now, but we can see this as an opportunity. Do you know what an opportunity is? Yeah, an opportunity is a chance to do something, a chance to learn something. So we can figure out things we can learn now, things that we can do that maybe we can't do when we're at school all day. So think about that. What's something you could do now that you have more time with your family, now that you have more time at home? Hmm. Maybe you could learn how to clean something at home. Maybe you could learn how to cook food. Maybe you could get more exercise and play outside more. Maybe you can do preschool with me. We can find the good in every problem. So we'll do that together. See you.